Hey guys and welcome to another 2012 Star Wars Lego edition of Toy Review TV. On this episode I will be reviewing the new X-Wing set which is set number 9493 ages 8 to 14 and is made up of 558 pieces and the price on this here in the UK is £49.99 pence. I will do a comparison shot with the previous X-Wing that was released before this one very shortly but firstly I will show you some of the things that come with this set which is this one sticker sheet which has 12 stickers on there so not so many stickers at all with this set it comes with one manual which is this and it has the one page comic style strip in the back there where you can see Jack Porkins in his X-Wing fighter this set comes with the four minifigures you can see at the front there which will also do a, a good close up of those very shortly also but for now let's move the X-Wing out of the way and our minifigures and there you can see your box shows you your minifigures on the front and displays the set as you would expect anyway and then on the back there you can see all the minifigures in certain scenarios and the X-Wing in action in the bay right guys well onto the set itself the set actually looks a lot more sleek and much more well presented than the X-Wing that we had previous which I'll have on my left which I'll bring into shot very shortly for you all to take a look at and compare but for now let's just give this a 360 spin where you can see it's got the elasticated sections at the back as on the previous one also to keep the wings tight when you're operating the open and closed variation on it and then if I bring this X-Wing in, you can get a good front view of the two there. You'll see the new X-Wing on the right, the actual engine sections, the front we have flat plates with stickers on them so more of a design upgrade compared to just that blank canvas on the one on the left there. The actual guns on the wings are a lot more sleek on the new one. This one on the left are a bit more blocky. You can see there, you can get a good comparison of the two there. We have a coil effect as well on this section that does spin around. Not that you need it to spin around, whereas this one's more of a solid design. Uh, more stumping short as well. The landing gear on this one is a bit more basic, I would have thought, I think, on the new one compared to the previous one that one looks a bit more nicer so maybe you could swap the landing gear over if you wanted to if you have the two models uh, on the previous model as well you'll notice the wings there all the features are facing upwards whereas the new one you have the wing features there but the wing features underneath so it's it's a little more true to the actual ship itself rather than having all the features facing up just to make it look pretty I say the old X-Wing has the elasticated mechanism as well but this one has those at the back and there you'll see at the front of the wings it has it there well this has all been added to that one section at the back so it's a lot neater the actual cockpit section is the same piece for the glass so they've gone with the same piece actually running down the feature of the side of the ship you'll see it looks a lot blocky uh, it looks slightly messy on the older one well let's compare that to the new one and that just looks very sleek it's straight the way through it doesn't look blocky 
so that's very nice. This X-Wing as well has uh, little missiles on the side there. This one doesn't feature that. And the actual propulsion system at the back of the X-Wing on this one, you'll see there, does look a little messy in its structure. You can see that there. This is the old one we're looking at now. Got a printed plate uh, on the top. But the new one, it's a lot more, again, nicer to look at, a lot more sleek in its design. There's not too much going on there, which makes it look better as it's not overworked. So that's pretty much the comparison of the old and new guys. The only thing I will say that is not as good on the new set compared to the older set is the actual me mechanism for the wing. See how quickly that snapped down there? Right, well, compare that to the, the previous one and it, it's a lot smoother. It, it, there's a lot more work involved to get the wings to close, but that's not a bad thing. But look how smooth the wings open and close on the old one using the aid of this cam system which you rotate like that until these two pieces locate in a horizontal position like so now let's compare that to the new one the actual handle that you need to turn isn't as good as that or I don't think it's as good as that but you see how, st how stiff that is now you see that you have to put quite a bit of force into that and now you have to counteract the the elastic but see how that just snapped into place there so it's you have to put a lot of pressure on this you can feel it twist and then it will snap into place but once you've got the wings open the landing gear tends not to sit very well on the base whereas on this one it does it sits quite well as you can see there but I think that is probably the only downside to this compared to the old one but there you can see it's got the same secure, secure system inside where it's got to be horizontal to keep the wings open but I do think it's a nice upgrade and it does look much better and more appealing to the eye your uh, cockpit opens as you would expect it to and just the basic seating area in there and just the one computer console and then a section at the back here for your droid to sit in so it is like I say well constructed and does look very appealing to the eye Right then guys, so on to our first minifigure and we have the fantastic Jack Porkins. I must say I absolutely love this figure. Uh, he has the same body as the Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot but the head and the helmet are completely new. And the way the features are done on the face makes him look uh, uh, to the eye more on the heavy side. Like he has a bit more weight. Which... We all know that he does in the films anyway. So it's printed front and back on the torso. And in the orange of the uh, X-Wing pilots that we've previously had. Uh, let's take a look at the the head without the helmet on. Brilliant, a lot, absolutely brilliant uh, detail to the face. The way it's, it's actually bulked out to make him look like he's a bigger guy. But the pieces are not bigger so it's very cleverly done. This is the helmet. That is the design that comes on the helmet. If I can get it to stay in one position. There are the rebel insignias. And the design carries on around the side. But that's a very nice helmet design as well. So yeah, this guy 
he's fantastic and uh, also gave me a laugh as well when I uh, first constructed him. And he reads the second minifigure which is Luke Skywalker which we have had in previous sets before. No change, the helmet is the, the new or updated helmet but we have been issued this helmet before. Uh, Luke comes with one blue lightsaber with the silver effect finish to the hilt. Uh, front and back print on the torso with all of these X-Wing pilots which is pretty much standard. Uh, it comes with the small face with the black eyes and the white pupils and a pretty straight mouth just slightly upturned. Only one expression on the head guys so no two prints just the one print on the head. Uh, I will tilt him forward just to show you the helmet sculpt there but some of you guys will probably already have this this model. Right and the third minifigure is this little astromech droid which is in the new shape with the new dome mould. Uh, this guy's name is R5D8 and the body on this actually is pretty much the same as R5D4 the other red astromech droid so the only difference being is the actual new dome sculpt which you can see there which has detail towards the outer and the top end of the dome as well has this red sectioned design across the top okay guys and last up is R2D2 <laughs> and I think we've all seen this figure a million times before and I think this figure has been issued far too many times even though I do like the astromech, I love the astromech droids, they are one of my favourite style of minifigure but I've got too many R2D2s now and I'm, I think a lot of you will have the same problem we keep getting issued R2s in too many sets so I'm hoping that they will slow down on the issue of R2D2 in the future otherwise we're going to have uh, a massive surplus in our collections of this little fella even though he is still an awesome little thing but for those of you who haven't got this one he has decal to the front there nothing to the back his dome is heavily detailed which is one thing that I love about this guy you'll see quite a lot of detail to the dome ok guys so that's the uh, review for set 9493 over the new X-Wing Starfighter from the Lego Star Wars line uh, I will just leave the two X-Wings there in shot while we're wrapping up so you can get a good comparison look I'll give you more of an idea of if you wish to purchase this set or not because I know people are at, and they weren't too keen on buying this at the first neither was I but I do like it but please let me know if you like it I would like to know and uh, coming up very shortly on more reviews I have all of the new superhero sets the Batman sets and I must say they are pretty awesome I still have one of the planet sets to do which is the Death Star so that will be coming up soon and also some Dino the new Dino Lego so please stay tuned for that guys and until next time happy collecting and take care